neurodegenerative diseases are a big, big challenge for the modern society. We are living longer, but also many people are suffering from retinal neurodegenerative diseases that make us blind. AMD, age-related macular degeneration, is a terrible disorder and it blinds people and it affects about 10% of the population. And this is easy to understand because if these neurons die, it is hard to imagine how you can revive them. Our research that is published now in Nature is a landmark study where we are establishing the approach for obtaining and then reviving the neuronal tissue, the retina, that is in the back of our eye. All of our research is done under a dim red light. That's because red light is of a wavelength that's the least stimulating to the pigment that's in your photoreceptors. And the photoreceptors are the cell types that we're studying the most. And just by being able to take these donor eyes and understand how the retina works in humans specifically and what's going wrong in these diseases is a huge thing. For some time, uh, many of the organs in the human body, like heart or lungs, we have been able to transplant them. When it comes to the central nervous system, including the back of our eye, it is much, much more challenging. And in our work, we established how you can produce these retinal patches. And these retinal patches are fully functional. They can convert light into electrical signals and they can send this signal onwards. We are basically encouraging other scientists to start to obtain human neural tissue and start to really study and understand how human neurons work and how they are affected in aging or disease. And that's what we think that will really transform not only the vision neuroscience, but the whole neuroscience field. And with this, we can then hope to develop treatments that can cure blindness. Thank you.